beauties Kim here and I hope you're having a wonderful beautiful day as always today's video is something that is very very special to me because all of you ladies know if you watch my makeup tutorials or my makeup videos I have acne so I want to show you ladies with acne how to cover up your discoloration or your acne scars right now I am having the worst acne breakout because I have the worst acne breakout you know when that time of month comes around so it's that time of month for me so I want to show you ladies that you can still cover up your discoloration and your acne with products that are not that expensive so the products that I use in this video are going to be all drugstore products Everything that I use is drugstore except one thing which is the setting powder, the Sasha Buttercup setting powder because drugstore setting powder doesn't do it for me. I cannot stand the Midnight Banana powder. I hate it. Everybody loves it but I absolutely hate it. If you want to cover up your acne scars or some people, one thing about me is acne is something that I've dealt with from a very very young age. So. I'm not so sad about it. I try to cope with it, of course, and try to make sure that I'm removing my makeup, take care of my skin, but it's something that I know that I have to deal with. So I'm not sad about it anymore. I don't have perfect skin. There's nobody out there that's perfect. So if you have acne, don't feel bad about your skin. Of course, try to take care of it as best you can. But hey, it's okay. Everybody's human. You don't have to be perfect. So if you know how to cover up your acne and your discoloration, then definitely stay tuned to this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. I love you ladies and I thank you so much for all the love and the support that you have given me. I really truly appreciate it. I say that in every last one of my videos and it's honestly true. So thank you so, so much. And let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. It's very quick, simple, easy. I know you ladies will love it. Well, I hope you do. <laughs> let's jump into it. So let's start off with priming the skin. The first thing that I'm going to use is the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer. And I love this because it keeps my makeup on all day. And of course it controls my oil. If you're oily, this stuff is amazing. I would definitely try it out. I mean, go to Sephora, try it out before you actually purchase it because if you purchase it, this thing is $36, I believe. I think it's 30 something dollars, 32, 36, 34, something like that. But this stuff is absolutely amazing. I would go, go to Sephora first and try it out if you haven't tried it before. And now the next thing that I'm gonna use is gonna be the Benefit Pore Professional. And I love this because this one fills in my large pores. I have really, really large pores. So I normally put this on my cheeks. So when you see my Get Ready With Me videos and you see this little kind of like white area, it's this primer here. But you don't have to worry about it because your foundation is gonna cover it, so. I'm going to stretch my face a little bit and I sweep an upward motion to fill in my pores. Now that my face is primed and my pores are filled in, let's go ahead and start color correcting. So you want to color correct the darkness that's in your skin. And what I'm going to use is going to be the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm going to be using the orange corrector. I will put this on areas where I have discoloration. And the orange, of course, cancels out any type of discoloration. I'm going to use the brush that I'm going to use for my foundation. It's just the e.l.f. powder brush and I'm gonna tap that in. With the, with the what am I about to say cover girl? With the LA Girl Pro Concealer, I would do it in sections and not just like go all over your face to put it on because this stuff dries really quickly. So just go in sections and blend it out because if you don't, you are gonna have some trouble blending, so. Just go ahead. If you have not tried this e.l.f. powder brush, you, oof, I would try it because this thing is amazing. It will blend your foundation, your concealer, it blends everything really quickly and it's cheap. So now that my whole face looks a little orange, ugh, but 
As you can see, it's pretty much almost covered up in flawless. So now what I'm gonna do is just apply my foundation. I'm gonna be using the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation Mocha. Absolutely love it. Favorite, favorite, favorite drugstore foundation hands down. I love this stuff. A little bit on my face and we gonna blend this foundation. So let's go ahead and conceal. You can see that pretty much my acne, like my discoloration is covered up. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight a little bit. I'm gonna use some concealer. The concealer that I'm gonna be using is da -da -da -da, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee, my favorite drugstore concealer. For me, it's a little too yellow. So I'm gonna be using something else to kind of tone it down. Another concealer by LA Girl Pro. And I'm not gonna talk too much about highlighting and contouring. I'm just gonna do it. And then let me get my other concealer. And I use, I can find it. Yeah, and I use espresso to kind of tone it down a little bit. So I'm gonna put this in the middle. Now to blend out my concealer, I'm just gonna be using my Beauty Blender sponge. I love this for blending out concealer. It gives you like an airbrush look. Now the next product that I'm gonna use is not necessarily drugstore, but it's not expensive like Laura Mercier or like Bobbi Brown. But I'm gonna use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I have been on banana powder, but I cannot stand that stuff. It makes me look like a ghost on my chocolate skin, so I can't use that powder. So I'm just gonna use my Sasha Buttercup powder as my setting powder, and I'm going to put that on the areas where I put the concealer. So I'm gonna sit that, let that sit and bake a little bit. Now I'm gonna use my, what's it called? Black Radiance Press Powder and I use it all the time. And I'm gonna um, use this in the shade Ebony. I am gonna use this to contour. These are like my favorite drugstore products. And what I really love about these products is you don't have to have like high-end products in order to give you like a flawless face. These are some must-haves in your collection if you don't already have them. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes off camera. Be right back. And so now that my eyes are done, we're gonna go ahead and sweep away this Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Do not know what type of brush this is. I believe it's just like a drugstore brush, but I cannot remember where I got it from. It has like no name, but I am going to sweep away the powder. And if you have a deeper skin tone like I do, I don't like it to look too, too powdery like this yellow color. Any powder that I use kind of gives me like a yellow type of color. So what I use is my foundation brush. And this is what I do behind the scenes. I don't think I ever show you, you ladies, but I just pat it on top of the powder and tone it down a little bit. I can not, like not do this step a little bit. Since we're sticking with drugstore, I am gonna be using my CoverGirl Ebony, Ebony Bronzer. And I use that as a blush. I've been using this a lot lately. I love the MAC Raisin Blush, but this, if you have like a deeper skin tone like me, use it as a blush. It gives you like a natural type of blush. I love it. My favorite drugstore highlighter is really a bronzer, but of course I got deeper skin, is the Milani Baked Bronzer, and it's in Golden Bronze. 
No, it's just in golden. And I absolutely love this because it gives me like a light flush of color for like my highlight. It's not too dramatic. So I am just going to, of course, highlight with it. You see how it just gives you a light flush of color like you can see the light bouncing off. <sighs> love this stuff. I don't know if Milani makes this anymore, but I love this one. It looks natural. This is a blush, I mean, a highlighter that you can use for like an everyday highlighter because it doesn't pop like bam in your face. Now, I love those type of highlights, but for like an everyday highlighter, use this one. I'm gonna put my lip gloss on and everything will be complete. So here's the close-up version of the finished look. Drugstore products and this face looks Flawless. It feels like it's been beat by some high-end products. So you don't have to break the bank in order to cover up your discoloration or your acne scars. Don't worry. Pick up some drugstore products and you'll be just fine. Well, this is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this was very, very helpful. Let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you ladies in another video very, very soon.